Good morning, Calvary kids. So, because of our current situation, we're not at church. We're going to do our Bible story and our lesson today from a porch. So, that's what we're doing today. So, we have a few different rules today than we would normally have, right? Yes. yes. So, our, our new rules are going to be tweaked just a little bit. So, our classroom rules change just a little bit. Ready? Repeat after me. One. One. We do not share. We do not share. Two. We do not, we do not hug. We, we do, do not hug. And if we cough in our arms, self-isolation. Yeah. Okay, so today we are going to be learning about Jesus teaching about giving. So, one day, Jesus and his disciples were at the temple, and Jesus was watching the people drop their money into the temple offering plates, and he saw some rich people put in a lot of money. The coins clanged loudly as they fell into the boxes. Then a poor woman whose husband had died walked up to the offering plate. She watched, Jesus watched her put two small coins into the box, and her coins made a soft as they fell into the box. Jesus told his disciples, this poor woman, she gave two small coins, but she gave more than all the other people. Jesus' helpers did not understand what Jesus meant. Jesus explains that the rich people, they put in some of their money, but the woman gave all of her money. Wow, that is impressive. So when Jesus taught about giving, he was more impressed that that lady just gave her two small coins. Do you know why? Because it was all she had. That's impressive. So was Jesus really proud of those guys coming in and putting in their money so high up so that it would make all these noises? No. no. That's pride. That's right. So they were showing off and they were trying to show everybody that they had so much money. But he was so proud of the poor lady who gave all she had, right? So our verse today is the woman gave all she had. Can we do that together? The woman gave all she had. Okay, I'm going to have you guys try to guess how many coins are in this jar. So, so pack it around, shake it up. You, have to, you can have five seconds and you have to guess how many coins are in there. Shake it up. Five, four, four three, two, two one. Um, Pass it on. 30. Okay. Shake it. Oh, wait, Cody. How many coins do you think are in there? That's a lot. Okay, Annalise, how many do you think are in there? Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Okay. Guess how many? Well, you already did. <laughs> I didn't shake it. You didn't shake it? That's okay. Thirty-one coins. Oh, so Mia got lot. the closest. Thirty-one coins in here. That's a lot. All right. So now we're going to head to the table. We're going to put our our own piece of paper with our name on it, and we're going to put it into the. I know that's your name. We're going to put it into the jar, and then we have some paints in here. You're going to drop these coins into the container. Can you drop those in? One, two. Yep. Yeah, drop it. Three, four. Okay. Let's put the lid on. Yep. Drop it. We're gonna do shake it up, shake it up really good. Awesome. Now let's see what kind of craft we just made. Whoa! That's really cool. It's I like did it. Yeah, that's a cool. That's a cool craft. My craft. Okay, next, Annalise. 
Put your paper in. Paper's another penny. Okay, put it like that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here Let's put the lid on now. Shake it up. Shake it up. Okay. Open the lid. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not as much paint anymore. Yeah, let's put a little more paint. one we're on nine for our ten commandments <laughs> five fingers four on the other makes nine do not lie and then our tenth one all ten fingers showing we do not want what others have good job 